can confirm mornings are still mornings in December. Okay, well, maybe they're a little bit better than regular mornings. <laughs> The kids are off to school. I'm editing a video and I'm kind of excited and only a little nervous for what I'm doing today. Curtis isn't here right now, so I can tell you. I've been blonde for a really long time. Like a couple years at this point. Um, I've been blonde. Well, I was, I, I was born blonde, okay. Um, and it wasn't my natural hair color until I hit puberty. Then I got like to a more dirty blonde. Um, and then I went dark for a really long time. Then I went light again. Then I went dark. In the last few years, I haven't really switched it up. Other than cutting, you know, half of my hair off. Um, but I am so bored. I am so bored with my hair. Um, and I'm really sick of it. And I was texting my sister-in-law, Jen, who's my hairstylist. She was my friend first. And then when she got her hair license, she was my hairstylist. Um, and then we became sisters-in-law, which is kind of fun. Um, we also lived not even a three-minute walk from each other growing up. Um, actually, I'm sorry, Nathan. Um... She used to date my brother. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said that on my channel before. Um, but Jen and my brother, Josh, were boyfriend and girlfriend once upon a time. And um, now she's married to Nathan and I'm married to Curtis and they are brothers. So we're still related. It's not in the way that I once thought, um, but it still happened. <laughs> So we were texting each other last night. Um, we always look forward to when I get to sit in her chair because when I get my hair done, there are no kids, there are no husbands and we can shoot the shit, okay? So we like our little girly time and we were looking forward to it and we were texting last night and I was like, you know what, Jen? I am so bored of my hair. I feel so blah and not just because the season that we're in with all these colds and flus and everything going around. Um, but I just feel, I don't want to say ugly, but at the same time, it's like, I know I can make myself look good, but on, on the regular, like when I don't put an effort in, I feel ugly and I feel ugh. like, you know, it's just, it's, I need to switch it up. I need to switch it up. I have a few ideas. I was texting Jen and I was like, I really, I might need some professional, um, guidance because I, I really don't know. I'm worried that if I go too dark, it, my hair will look so gray. It would be really hard to cover. Um, but at the same time, most of my gray is framing my face. It is like, my bang area all around here. And I've been trying to hide my gray with blonde hair, um, super platinum blonde hair. And I just don't even think it's working anymore. Like I just don't, I mean, and I don't even care at the same time. It's just like, I don't know. I, I might live to regret this decision because the last time I went blonde, a couple years ago and it took multiple hair appointments because you know you can't go from dark to light overnight uh, I mean you can with Jesus <laughs> you can but when it comes to the hair um, unless you want to fry your hair you have to do it gradually and I remember thinking I am never going dark ever again and I'm not going fully dark but I think I want to be a little bit okay like I, I, I want some dimension I want something rich. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just so bored of this. I am. And this is like all I get. This is me, okay? This is who I am. And sometimes it's just nice to look in the mirror and see like an updated version of yourself. To see a glow up, okay? 
It's Vlogmas. It's Christmas. It's December. It is not time to mess around with the hair because you want to look your best. So tell me why I'm doing this now. I really don't know. I found a couple pictures online. Jen was like, look online, you know, find a few inspo pics and then we'll talk. And I found a few last night. I stayed up really late. In fact, it was almost 1 a.m. Um, because I was excited for this. Excited slash mildly concerned and stressed. <laughs> and Curtis knows nothing about it. Like he just thinks I'm getting my roots done. I like surprising him. And he normally likes any change that happens because he's a man that enjoys switching it up. Well, not, let me, let me just say not in that way. Okay. Um, he's a one woman man, but in everything else in life, vehicles, moving the furniture around, a change in the schedule, switching up the motorbikes. <laughs> Friends, it's time. I'm going in. I'm getting some new hair. I'm so excited. Honestly, Jen can be trusted. She is such a good hairstylist. Her coloring is on point. So I'm going to show her the pictures that I'm liking and we'll converse and we'll see what happens. I, I think it's going to be great. And it's definitely going to surprise Curtis. That's for sure. I am going to wear a mask only because I do have a few lingering symptoms from all the colds and illnesses that have been running through pretty much everyone's house in the last month. Um, so let's go in. We've got halls on deck. Eh, <laughs> always. I kind of feel like Phoebe when she had her sexy voice, like smelly cat, smelly cat when she was sick. Um, I, I don't think I'm even sick anymore. I just, this is, this is who I am now. Okay. This is just my new voice. It's a little nasally. Okay. So thank goodness I'm not a part of any choir or bands anymore because nasally singing is not my fave. <laughs> I showed her a picture I looked for so long online to try to find like something that would suit me right now where I'm at in my life. And I just was sick of looking in the mirror and feeling blah. I miss my tan. Okay. That's probably what it is because I had such a nice tan this summer and my blonde hair looks so nice with a tan like beach babe. Yes. I don't have a tan. Now I just look like rich. <laughs> rich in chocolate, okay? She did so good. I hope you guys like it. I I I think I love it. Curtis has no idea. So let's go surprise him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you look think? Hot. <laughs> Babe, you went brown. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You know what that would pair well with? <laughs> Curtis. I say it around him. You smell like Jen, huh? You miss your mama? Mwah. That's mama's boy, huh? Is that mama's? That's mama's. You look hot. 
She curled it so nice. You're pretty. Some of you guys may have never even seen me with darker hair, but I've been dark before. <sighs> I'm not excited to see the grays, okay? <laughs> um, I know it looks like this right now. It will probably, whoa, sorry, you were very close. It'll probably like gray through before I want it to, but I'm going to be a little bit more regular with my hair appointments. Um, and I just, it's, it was time to switch it up. I did tell Curtis that I was never, ever going to go dark ever again, that I was going to stay blonde, um, because it blended my gray in better with the light blonde color. Um, but I've had a couple comments, um, <laughs> from people saying, Oh, it's good to see you embracing your gray. Oh, love the gray hair. Um, which I, thank you. Um, I don't mind compliments. So, okay. I wasn't really trying to embrace my gray though. I was trying to hide it. So the fact that like people mean well, and I, like, it's okay. Um, I appreciate the compliment, but like, that was just me trying to have blonde hair. Um, not at all comfortable with the gray hair. So since it's noticeable, even with the major bleach and drying my hair out like crazy and having the same hairstyle color for forever, I decided I don't care anymore. I'm just going to mix it up and have more fun and try something new. I haven't I haven't done this in so long. The last time I had like a major hair transformation was when I cut like from here up, right? It was even shorter than this initially. And I loved that change. I'm excited for Winnie to see it. Honestly, she's my toughest critic, okay? She will 100% tell me if she doesn't like it, okay? Um, <laughs> and she also doesn't have a filter, um, at least when it comes to me. She doesn't have a filter. She will tell it like it is. And um, I guess I'll be holding my breath, waiting to see what my daughter thinks. I don't think she's gonna like it, but let's, let's wait and see. All right, here comes the boss. <laughs> what do you think? Do I match you better? <laughs> do you like it? On Jen did it. What do you think? Look, it's kind of brown, huh? Do you like it or is it too weird? I don't know. You don't know yet? Give you a second to think about it? <laughs> but you don't hate it, eh? All right, that's a win. That's a win. We'll take it, the W. Hi. Do you like my hair? Oh, you got nice. <laughs> did, we get, did we get the new Jeep? Uh, Dad's going to get it right now. Awesome. I thought he's getting... <laughs> Lulu! Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> he was napping while I was lacing. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, we love you. Look at that piece. Look at that piece out of Winnie found this ginormous brick of ice. I cracked, I cracked a piece it was in Lulu's it. outside bowl. I cracked a piece in it. Oh, yeah. Lulu's a little bit scared of it. She was barking oh, at it. <laughs> you want to turn on the Christmas lights? <gasps> Do it. Yes. That is a golden opportunity. Lulu wants to do it. The top button. Let's see it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, my land dad. For real? <laughs> Three, two, one. What's this do? Oh, there's the rest. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> the dogs playing together and Winnie kicking the ice. <laughs> Careful, you hurt your toe. Look inside of my vlogger. Look 
Oh, there's a giant hole icicles. in it. That's so cool. You want to tell everybody what happened yesterday when we took Jasper for a walk? Oh, we found this giant like ice thing. Oh, there was some sort of like ice, but it was like gigantic. Mm -hmm. It was like a giant floor. Yeah, like but a whole ice. field of ice. Yeah. And Koopa, he like Hi, stepped honey. on it and it cracked. Uh -huh. And then his flip flop got stuck. Because <laughs> he was wearing flip flops. And his flip flop got stuck inside of there. Because his foot did. And then his foot flop got stuck inside. Uh huh. So he had to. So he pulled his foot out. And then his flip flop was gone. And his Disappeared. Foot stuck in the ice. So he had to use his hand to grab it out. And what was underneath the ice? Water and what else? And it was all over his foot and his flip flop. And now our door at home. Mud. Mud. Filled with mud. Ruined his socks. Had to walk back home with one flip flop on and one covered in mud in his hand. And, oh, wait. Did mom maybe say, hey guys, probably. Jeez. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> Did mom maybe say, hey guys, probably, <gasps> jeez. <laughs> She's okay. <coughs> Did mommy say, um, hey guys, maybe we shouldn't go on the ice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I and he did it anyways. I wanted, so at first I tried my best not to get on it. I just wanted to go where they were going yeah. to see if it was actually hard again. So I just went. Jasper on the ice I was quite funny. I didn't as much as that. Yeah. But I, I you just, actually fell in too, though. But you didn't get as muddy as Cooper. Yeah. But I was, um, so like, when we were there, I was going on some of the ice that was like glidey. Uh -huh. But I was going on some of the ice that was like just like cracky with no water. So right. I, it was really fun. It was a little bit safer. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, but sometimes I do. But when I. Got one time I got it and then you look my boot and look. It I was kind of muddy, it huh? Wet. Or wet, soaked. Yeah, we put it on the boot warmer. It was all good as new this look morning. Look at that. <laughs> what are you guys doing, huh? Are you having fun? If you've made it this far in the video and you haven't yet commented, what did Cooper say? You're getting a new Jeep? Kudos to you. Thank you for waiting. Um, so we're getting a new Jeep. Um, it's actually not brand new, um, but it's, it's like as dream vehicle as I can get at the moment. So before, um, when Winnie was born, and a couple years before Winnie was born, we were driving in a beautiful black Jeep Patriot and we, it was one of the grossest decisions we ever made. We traded in that Jeep trade pay, pay period. Wow, okay, yes, sorry, dyslexia. And, you know, just general panic and anxiety. And anyways, um, we traded in our Jeep Patriot for a Dodge Caravan. Such a step down. Such a massive step down three car seats were very difficult in the jeep patriot so that is why um it was three car seats three kids in car seats and an infant seat and if you know anything about car seats then you already know exactly what i'm talking about and you're like yep you gotta do what you gotta do i had a mom van for quite a few years hated it but um it worked well and kept us safe i guess it was just so ugly like so it was the ugliest color you can get to um anyways uh we don't have that and then we got our um i think that's when we got our grand cherokee it was right after the van was it was there something in between we've had a lot of different vehicles curtis and i have been together 18 years a little more than that we've had a lot of vehicles in that time like i said at the beginning of this video it's one of curtis's favorite things to do is to switch it up and he is bringing me home a beautiful newer than it was last time a lot newer than it was last time 
um, a black Jeep Patriot. I'm, I'm really excited. And yes, the decals will be gone off of the vehicle. And um, this is something Curtis and I have been thinking about for a long time. Uh, it's more of a safety issue, honestly, at this point. I've had a few weird, weirdish things happen to me. And it was just kind of enough that it was like, you know, maybe I don't want to make a spectacle of myself everywhere I go. Um, you know, just be a little more normal, <laughs> which like, it makes sense. It, it truly makes sense. So he should actually be here any minute. It's been a long and very weird day. Um, I haven't been vlogging everything, but it's been a long and very weird day. But hey, guess what? It's a long and very weird day in December, which makes everything just a little bit better. Honestly, it's Christmas. <laughs> He's here. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Woo, woo. That looks like a Jeep, baby. Oh, Jazz is coming to see it. <laughs> Your daddy's back. He went all the way to Fredericton to get it. You did good, babe. I love it. This looks like a G. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I love it. Unfortunately, daylight is <laughs> a hot commodity and we don't usually uh, have very much of it right now. It's fun getting a car in the dark. Look at that grill. Damn. What's the surprise? Yeah. What? Wait, I don't know if you I'm scared doing. me. He says, he ha I have a surprise for you. This is so dark. <laughs> Welcome to my new Jeep. Here's the chore. It's black. <laughs> There's the surprise. An uh automatic starter. Woo! <laughs> we have never in all the vehicles we've had, we have never had an automatic starter. It's gonna be a nice luxury. The lap of luxury. You're gonna burn some gas with that? Hell you? yeah. Inside, okay? Leather seats. Oh, it's got a lot of leg room. You guys, this is not, let me let me just tell you, this is a smaller vehicle than what, um, than what we just had. We don't need a ginormous vehicle with a ginormous engine anymore. So we got a little bit of a smaller, some way you call it a downgrade, but it's not for me. It's an upgrade. A Jeep Patriot oh. is kind of like my dream car. And I had it once upon a time. So now I have it again. Oh yeah, and there's a sunroof. But currently it's a moonroof since it's five o'clock and oh, it looks like midnight. Whoa, I, pushed it. <laughs> I pushed it. Babe. You like it? I love it. Kind of brings you back to when we had it. <sighs> Simpler what, times. What was that, like 2011 Mommy, or 12 look. when we had it? Yeah, that? yeah. You can close it. Yeah, you can close the moonroof with that little finger dinger. That's what you'll be doing, and I'll be opening it every yeah, chance. Yeah, I, I actually don't like the sunroof. It gives me headaches. I love it. All right, I'm going to take her for a spin. Hey, baby. How do you like your Jeep? I love it. Yeah? We got the moonroof open. <laughs> awesome. The Thank Jeep's you. awesome. I love it I too. Love it. Super cool. I feel like I'm driving. What do you guys think? Like... Back there. You think it's cool, Sky? It's better than the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you We're back home. You guys, I just drove four wheel drive for the first time in my life. Oh, okay. Never had a four wheel drive vehicle ever. Okay, you had an all-wheel drive Jeep for years, babe. Okay, but four-wheel drive. <laughs> it's a little different because you have to you have to click it. It it just feels cool. I feel I feel like tougher. <laughs> I don't know why. And you like the hole in the ceiling, push huh? The button, right? Look, someday we'll have a big right Wrangler. Right, but oh, when reach, there's only reach, me and reach, Curtis right. here and no kids yeah. in the back, we it's will. closing. <laughs> What do you think, butter boy? Did you huh? like it? Did you like the Jeep? <laughs> what a good boy. He was boy. laying right down. Wanna hop down? You know your spot, huh? Come on. Hop down. Hop Come down, on. Winnie. 
Come on, Winnie. Hop down. <laughs> Come on now. You know what? I've been saying for so long, I just want like a simple life. Like, I don't know why, but this makes me feel like it's more simple. Yeah. There's so, nothing simple. I think it just brings me back to like when I was pregnant and like when life was just like hockey rinks and breast milk. You I know? forgot about your hair until right now. It's really pretty. Thank you. It was a day of new things and Santa bought me a Jeep for Christmas. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll catch you back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Merry Christmas! <laughs>